Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Drawing with Mr. Sepulveda. I'm Mr. Sepulveda, and on today's episode, I'm going to use a drawing prompt generator to create a random piece of artwork for you. Um, my hope is that um, I'll get a pretty nice looking sketch type of drawing. Um, I don't think this is going to be one of those videos that has a beautiful piece of art at the end, right? Unlike that uh, 10 minute, one minute, 10 second art drawing I did a while ago. That was pretty scary. That was pretty cringy. Um, but this one should be a good one because I think you guys can join me uh, with the prompt and, and see what you guys would draw compared to what I would draw for the exact same prompt. Okay. Um, so go ahead. Enjoy this. Grab a sketchbook. Grab a pencil. Join with me or just sit back, relax, and let this video play on. Okay. So right over here, we've got our random drawing generator. Um, and so there's a bunch of different ideas here. Um, part of me was thinking about going to that anime side of things. Um, but I feel like I'm either going to be stuck on like fantasy person, superhero person, things like that. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's kind of click through a couple of things. I don't want to settle on just one unless I really like it. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let me, let me hit the superhero one because I like superheroes. Uh, honey, where's my super suit? The retired superhero living as a civilian abruptly realizes they need to find their outfit and save this city. Oh, where have I seen this before? <laughs> oh, you know what? Look, I'm not going to, I might not go with this, but I'm going to use this little snipping tool real right quick. Um, and I really want to just kind of screenshot this for myself in case this is the one I want to go with, okay? So let me just go ahead. I'm going to click copy on this side, control copy. Let's go over here uh, to my Clip Studio Paint. I'm going to make this prompt big. Again, I don't know if this is the one I'm going with, uh, but honey, where's my super suit? Ah, oh, love it, love it, love it. All right, so that's what I got for superhero. Do I try it again or do I aim for fantasy or anime or maybe an animal? All right, let's 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 look at fantasy. I like fantasy art. A barbarian dressed roughly and showing a great deal of tanned and muscled skin, a heavy beard, and an unkempt haircut. They're armed, of course, with something that is built for brawn, like a big axe or an impressive great sword. Maybe draw some jewelry as well, rings or a fancy pendant. Loot, most likely. Perhaps he is or has been drinking. Huh, not kid friendly, but that is a very creative piece, I think. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take that one too. Let's go ahead, bring that into here as well, right over here into Clip Studio if you just want to open up. There we go, buddy. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and stretch that out. Just going to kind of eat the top of that. I don't know, maybe I'll get rid of the drinking part to make it a little better, I'm going to be honest, but let's see. And then one more just to kind of narrow it all down. <laughs> Instagram posers. Uh, romantic couple. Alien world. Let's see. Uh, I'm like really gearing on that anime one. But let's try alien. What do I get? The spaceport or starship junkyard, uneven row of diverse looking craft from a dozen races. Honestly, guys, I don't make any types of spacecrafts. Um, I wouldn't even know where to start with a vehicle, like a car, I would be honest. Um, so let's, let's, let's do one more. And you know what? I'm gonna hit that anime. What do we got? The wise mentor, the street wise detective. All right, so I'm not gonna go with this one, I'm gonna be honest. Um, so we've got two here, but I think, <laughs> I don't know where you guys are leaning towards because the honey, where is my super suit kind of gets me, gets me chuckling, but I think that barbarian one is that that's a wild one. I, I totally like it. I think, again, I think the only thing I'm going to do to this just to make it a little bit more friendly because... I don't want to promote the drinking here on this channel, right? Um, so let's get rid of all of that. There we go. 
And I think we're good to go. So that's our prompt. So let's go ahead. You guys can go ahead, grab a sketchbook, pencil, things like that. Um, and let's create this barbarian. Um, it kind of reminds me of like Dave the Barbarian, if you've ever seen that back in the day. But barbarian, kind of like caveman -y, right? This guy's going to have a big axe, tanned, big muscles, hair is unkempt. Let's see, what else does he need? I like the big axe. Okay, the jewelry, the rings, maybe. I, th I think the loot, I think that's important. He's a barbarian. He had to take some stuff. So let's kind of come up with a fun pose. So let's see. I'm just going to... I'm thinking... Do we want him to have attitude? Like... Is he like... Like... Like one of those barbarians that'll skip leg day? But he's like heavy up top. I'm really curious. Like, you know, does he... How's he going to stay? What would his posture be like? Let's see. This is just me kind of sketching out my ideas for the body. I don't know if this is how I'm going to go about it, but I think it's a pretty fun idea. Um, I'm thinking, here's the collarbone. Might have to move that head up a bit. Luckily, this is uh, digital. All right, so we can go ahead and we can kind of move a couple things around. Like, you should be sitting up higher. Because I think... This barbarian's got to be a tall dude. He's muscular, right? He's tanned. He's got nice tan. I'm thinking big. And I'm going to make the... Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to make this cartoony. Um, I haven't done too much super cartoony stuff on this uh, channel. And when I was a kid, the, my first big dream was to become a cartoonist, believe it or not. Not like a caricatured person, but I wanted to create cartoons that would become a kid's favorite cartoon, if that makes sense. Because I grew up with so much um, awesome stuff in the 90s. Um, let's see, I'm thinking, you know what, maybe, because I know he's muscular, I I'm thinking we gotta put that arm back. So let's give him like his elbow up here. Right, elbow over here. Big arm. Like if I had a big ax, maybe I've got it come back there or maybe he's like one of those um uh you know like a funny dumb giant character like those big strong guys that don't really realize they're strong right or know their own strength i'm, I'm thinking something like that i'm just trying to figure out how do i want this to come across like we should have a bicep over here deltoid over there shoulder right and then maybe the elbow. Maybe he's actually holding it up. Maybe he's holding that um, that big axe. Or maybe, ah, uh, you know what? Maybe he's holding that big axe. So let, let, let's, let's try to figure that one out, right? We got these big old muscles. I'm going to make it redunculous. We'll let this kind of come across. I want to give it an interesting or interesting-ish type of composition, right? So maybe this is where his hand is, right? It's going to have to have this giant axe. I like the axe better than the great sword. I'm not in a thousand percent sure why I think it's better, but it's an opinion. It's better. If you don't agree with me, your opinion's wrong. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> really joking on that one. Hey, I, honestly, like, you know, even with, like, uh, some knights and stuff like that, it'd be so cool to have, like, a giant great sword. Not gonna lie. Let's see. Let's, let's maneuver this a little bit more. So let me... Power of digital, right? Just... Just angle that a little bit. Just just angle that just a smidge. There we go. So let's get this guy going. Two, three, and then his fourth digit right over there. Like he's lifting it a little bit higher off this axe. There we go. Now I got an idea over here. Then that one out just a smidge. 
Oh yeah, that's a that's a brolicky arm and hand right there, I think. Let's see. I hope you guys kind of like that. I hope you guys kind of dig that. I know I didn't put in a head over here like, what in the world is that? I know. I I'll put it in the head. I got to figure that part out too. But just trying to make sure he's brolicky. He's going to be tanned. I'm hoping to fit the whole thing on here. I also got to kind of consider clothing for this guy, right? And I'm going to keep shrinking him down a little bit just to make sure he fits the area that we're using. Um, so I'm thinking axe, right? So I'm thinking there's got to be one giant fearsome looking thing. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this kid's going to be... I don't know if it's a sickle type of looking great axe. But then again, I guess I guess in my mind I'm thinking like Groot <laughs> from, or a Stormbreaker from Thor, right? Kind of got that in my mind for this, but <clears throat> I don't know if it's the best idea for this. Now it just kind of looks like a, a sign, right? Looks like a sign instead of a actual axe. So let's let's erase that. Let's erase that. We're not gonna. I'm not gonna subject you to that terrible artwork. Well, we'll get something pretty good over here, right? Okay. Let's see. It's got to be somewhat straight. I know this is sketched. I'm not even sketching it the way that I would to kind of keep it, I guess, straight, orderly, like one step at a time type of process. Um, let's see, big axe. Now, I wish I was, I wish I had um, a reference for this, but I think it should be even bigger. Like, it's cartoony, right? Let, let's exaggerate this a bit. I'm just going to kind of stretch that. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and kind of axe this thing. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That's, a, that's an axe for a big barbarian if I ever saw one. There you go. And, yeah, I know the whole thing's crooked. I'll fix that at some point. Maybe. Again, this is just a sketch. I don't know how how detailed it's going to be. I don't even know if I'll do line work. Um, let's see. I need this dude, this brolicky man, to be a little bit more, like, I don't I wouldn't say, I guess manly would be what I'm thinking of, but I don't necessarily think it's the right word. But you know how you see people with, like, a man beard? It's kind of what I'm thinking. If he's got unkempt hair... Like, it's just kind of, you know, thrown around or whatever. Like, it's not perfect. Uh, I can only imagine this facial hair. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to put in kind of a big old beard here. And I'm thinking his eyebrows have got to be about the same, which I love personally. Like, let me just draw some giant eyebrows onto a character. I'm down for that. Super down for that. Let's see. Oh, well, look, it does say heavy beard. See, I don't even know how I missed that. I, I, I guess I was focused on the haircut. Uh, but it does say right over here, people, just in case. <laughs> you don't want to read it as bread. Hopefully I didn't read it as bread. <laughs> that would be pretty embarrassing, right? Fifth grade teacher reads the word beard as bread online, right? That would be some good clickbait, actually. So if you guys want to create it, go ahead and create it. Use my picture. There it is. That was the smile. That was the shot right there. All right, cool. So let's go ahead. Let's put this in here. There we go. It's manly men. Men. If you've ever seen a fairy tale, right? I can't remember what guild he's from, but he was like a leader over there. He'd always say the word men. It's kind of like that. Uh, my wife would kill me because she's a huge fairy tale fan. I can't think about it right now. I don't know why. Let's see. I'll just have the beard kind of come all the way through. And I think if he's a barbarian, I know it's not in here, but I feel like maybe just give him a scar. Do you know what I mean? Because then I can play around with the design on the eyebrows a little bit. Because he's got to... Look, he's definitely been in battle. He's definitely been in battle. Okay, so we got that. 
And then he's got some crazy unkempt hair. But I think unkempt can be taken a couple different ways. Uh, for starters, I feel like uh, just kind of giving him longer hair that kind of comes back, almost like a mullet. And my mind feels unkempt. Like it's not neat, it's not tidy. So let me just kind of play around with this idea real quick. And then I think he's got to have some hair that kind of just falls over his face. So let's just kind of throw some hair over his face. There we go. I don't think it's that tidy, but... So we'll give him a couple spikes over here. Just playing around with ideas, folks. <laughs> I don't know what your hair looks like or the version of unkempt that you got in your mind, but I'm like, it's just something that's just not nicely put together. And so I really don't think this is nicely put together. If you think it looks too nice, then, oh, man, I got a problem because that means I'm not meeting this prompt. Um, but anywho, let's just go ahead and do this. Um, while, while you're at it, Hey, if you guys like this video so far, just drop me a like down below. That would be great. Um, and if you guys have any other ideas, suggestions um, about a future video, please feel free. Go ahead. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, also want to let you guys know that I've been working on some Pokemon art recently. I'm trying to do kind of like the... Um, I'm just trying to do like a Pokedex drawing challenge for the Kanto region. And so I'll be drawing all 151 original Pokemon um kind of in my art style I'm trying to give them a little bit of creativity so you'll see a video here later on in the week um that shows you pokemon one through nine just because those are the starters um then after that i'll try to get a few more uh th kind of thrown throughout right i think that'd be kind of cool uh so let's see so gotta have some rings some jewelry so we'll put in a ring right over here I'm thinking a little skull ring right over here. So he's, he's, he's going to be like Thanos, this guy over here, I think. Instead of Infinity Stones, he's just got like whatever random jewelry he's got uh, that he's pillaged, I guess. Um, and then I'll do another little circular thing there. That'll be rings. I think that'll be the rings that we're, that we're looking for. These are the rings you were looking for. Finally, we finally found something we were looking for. All right, so let's see. I got an idea here. Um, again, I still don't have an idea about clothing, and yet my dude still doesn't have legs either. So we gotta, we gotta figure out how it's standing. Like, should this be longer? Should we exaggerate it longer? Like, this guy is supposed to be muscular, right? He's, and this thing's like a <laughs> weird spiral. <laughs> but I will fix it. I promise. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. I won't just leave it like that, as I say now, but later on in the video, I'll probably forget that I said this, um, but that'd be okay, so let's see. So we got some legs, got some thighs into a knee, um, I think that was supposed to be a knee, but I think the knee's more on this leg, because I'm going to have them facing the same direction. Some calf muscles. There's a shin, there's a calf. Maybe bring that out a little bit more. See, I don't know how these guys on like Drawfee do this. It's probably one of my favorite channels on here. Um, my absolute favorite would have, would be uh, Cross Pop Studios. Been watching him for years, and, and he's amazing. He came out with a video recently. Um, it was really motivating because it kind of shows you his art from where he started and where he's progressing and that's essentially what this channel is all about it's essentially kind of for me to kind of document myself i want to become a better artist i want to maybe do something with art somewhere down the line in my life like I'd, i would love to make a living out of this i think this stuff is a lot of fun um so yeah i think that's kind of what i want to do with it um let's see boom all right, so this is where I think I'm going to lower my opacity. I know there's a lot of mistakes, there's a lot of issues here and there, but that's okay because, you know, this is art, baby. We got this. Um, and so 
I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out a little bit about his clothing. I don't know what kind of clothing he would have. I know, I feel like he would have... He says fancy pendants. I don't know if he'd be fancy necessarily or... Because the barbaric side of me wants to just throw like a human skull on him. Do you know what I mean? Is that fancy? Like what would make it fancy? Throwing a top hat on top of a human skull? Uh, maybe. Maybe that would be the answer. I don't know. I'm just going to quickly draw in this fake human skull pendant. Maybe it's made of glass. I don't know. I don't know. That this looks like a creepy human skull. <laughs> it's not even a skull. That's okay. Let's. I told you it was gonna get cartoony. So let let let's just go ahead. Let's finally kick into that cartoon overdrive again. I was thinking Dave the Barbarian. I was trying to stay away from what's in my head, but this kind of worked. That's kind of fancy. Maybe throw some bling on this uh, necklace. Um, what else could he use? I think he could have some fur. He needs some fur. He's a barbarian. Let's give him fur gloves. I think that'll be cool. That'll be a contrasting um, contrasting piece over here, I think. So I think that'll be kind of cool. And then we can... Ah, oh, but, you know, this one has the rings on it. Like, do I want it? Well, let's, let's just kind of fold some of this over. There we go. I don't know if it'd be a full sleeve of things, but... I feel like that arm is too small now that I look at this one I mean granted it's not even perfect but that'll be okay loincloth type of thing right little Tarzan I don't know why Tarzan barbarians sounds like something that goes together but that's okay let's just you know we're rolling we're, we're rolling with it okay I'm thinking, let's just outline the rest of him. I think I need the knee somewhere over here. And then, let's bring that back in. Because I don't think I'll get that whole thing in here, but that's okay. Let's throw this in here. There we go, big muscular dude, right? There we go, we're getting there, people, we're getting there. I don't know what yours looks like. I'm hoping it looks better than mine, but I'm starting to like where mine is going. And I don't know if that makes me crazy, or, you know, if I've just taken this way too far. I don't know. Maybe I did take this too far, but there ain't no going back, guys. There ain't no going back. So those are going to be the rings. I'll, I'll throw the designs on there. I think his elbow needs to come out to maybe this point. And then we can kind of loop that back in. And let's see. Kind of like a Santa Claus, I think. <laughs> it's kind of like a Santa. I don't know why. I'm just kind of leaving this pouty lip thing. Right over here. We'll leave this beard looking Stella. It's a stunner beard, right? right that's gonna be, I don't know if that's his face, but let's see. Maybe it's because of uh, that. Maybe we should bring that up. We shall bring that up, sir. You know, they always tell you to flip your canvas to see if it looks right. Psh, it don't look right, but that's okay. This is just a sketch. We're sketching today. We're getting loose. It's been a while since I really did anything outside of uh, just drawing Pokemon for a few weeks. And again, you guys will totally see that um, sometime this week. You'll, you'll get like these two videos coming out, um, which is kind of cool for you guys. Um, I'm excited. Got a little bit more open space in my schedule I think uh, for for things like this so I don't know if I'll be posting weekly uh, but or you know once every other week but I, I 
I'm going to see what I can do. Because again, I've got a lot of things that are just kind of recorded that, that just sit here on this computer. Um, so again, we'll, we'll kind of check that out. All right, let's see. That's going to be the hair. I know that's not the hair, but we'll just, we'll just let it be for what it is. Again, I'm gonna I'm gonna clean this up in the actual line work. Oh yeah, you've got no eye. Sorry. <laughs> He's got that little scar thing going on. We'll cut off the eyebrow. There you go. And then he has got this kind of a nose going on. Alright, and then everything else in between, right? We got this axe. Shine, I think. All right, man, we'll figure out the rest of that somewhere else, right? So let's go ahead. Let me lower this opacity and then actually get into what I think can we can actually go through. Let's just do the line work. Let's just make it look somewhat clean, right? somewhat presentable, I think. But I just, and then obviously I'll have some money around him because he's got loot. So let's go ahead and use my real G pens. My, one of my favorite pens to ink with because I, I love the way some of these lines come off. So that's going to be his nose. This is going to look reminiscent of my, um, the ancient one mustache. Right, if you've if you've been watching that series, I do have the third issue almost done. I am in the process of coloring it, but I've been in the process of coloring it since the summer, um, and so I really need to get on it. Uh, the next episode will deal with um, the Velvet Hammer, uh, who's actually inspired by my old teaching partner, um, Mr. Deloma. So shout out to Mr. Deloma. If you're watching this um, and it's gonna have a few of my former students actually it's gonna have three of my former students from last year uh, which is kind of cool so shout out to you guys <laughs> so if I I'll just give first names so no one has to know right if you so this way I kind of protect y'all but I've got Reagan on there I've got Lila and I've got my buddy Mason he's on there too let's just Draw that in there. That's going to be the lip. Let's see, let's just curve that up just like that. It's going to have this manly beard, right? Like a. I don't know if you guys remember, Nick Mangold used to have a big old beard. He was a. Jets player back in the day. If I remember correctly, he just made the Hall of Fame for the for them, which is awesome. It's gonna close up my lines a little bit. I don't know how I feel about this side of the beard, so let's erase it because I'm not satisfied. But we'll bring it up just like that. We'll put in part of his ear over here. Put in this part. Make it look like a nice ear. And if he's, you know what? He's got jewelry. And I didn't think about this, but let's, let's give him an earring. And I'm thinking, and, and uh, <laughs> don't ask me why, but not the, not like Tanji Rose earrings, by the way, right? I know some of you guys saw the circle on the line. We're like, oh my goodness, he's doing a Demon Slayer earring. No, um, I'm actually going to make uh, kind of an anchor. I don't know why. This is just where my gut is going. And then I'm sure... I'm sure... I'm 100% wrong, but don't worry. <laughs> but yeah, but my anchor is actually going to be kind of a sword, kind of a blade, because I feel like he's a fierce warrior. So I feel like he would have a blade in his ear to use as a weapon, just in case, right? So, there you go. It's beautiful, right? It's fashionable, but it also serves another purpose. So let's go ahead. Let's do this. And 
to give him a pupil. I don't think he needed it, but there it is. Like, he looks not stoic, but he kind of looks a little sad, I think. But you know what? When you got all the money and you're a barbarian and there's no one else around because you pillaged everybody, what else do you have, right? And so this is my dude right here. Let's just give him a couple lines in that eyebrow. I think it's kind of cool. There you go. It looks kind of wonky, but hey. You know what? That's art. So we'll, 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 we'll suck that up. Let's see. So we've got eyelid. Eye. Oh, this, this one's going to be important. So the scar, because it's three-dimensional, shouldn't be straight. And if I'm wrong, well, then I'm wrong. That's okay. Again, I just I'm gonna document my art journey, and as bad as any of the stuff that I do is, that's okay. I'm gonna learn from it. Let's just do one of these. Boom. There's the other eyebrow that's ripped off on his face, right? And then I think if I just kind of cut that off, it looks like it's part of it. It was intentionally done. That's okay. Actually, I don't even think that needs to be there. I think I put it up a little higher. Alright, cool. So let's go into this hair. I think we're just going to curve this right here. I think I'm going to have some hair flying off, like right here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So let's fly it right over there. Make my eraser bigger, trying to clean this up a little bit. But it looks okay ish. Ish ish. Just put some lines over here. That always means that <laughs> we got hair underneath coming up. Right? If I'm wrong again, just let me know. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if this looks better than how I think it's looking. That's all right. There we go. Kind of like the one right there. Let's just leave it at the one. Let's lower that guy down. Oh, we are we are getting places, people. We throw another one. I don't know. I don't know. If for safe measure is the right way to, is the right phrase for this. Let's throw a one right here. Actually, you know what? Oh, flipping it. Gotta flip the canvas sometimes, guys. Gotta flip the canvas. Something I know to do, but I don't always do. One of those say what I, <laughs> you know, it's like do as I say, not as I do. Um, And I don't know, I've always been doing lines and the hair like this. I do it often enough, and, and I still don't even know where I picked it up from. I just know I picked it up from somewhere. Okay? So, let's see. I'm going to put some hair. You know what? How do we want that hair to fall? Because, again, it's unkempt, right? It can't, it can't look perfect. It can't have Fabio-looking hair. I don't know how many of you guys are old enough to get the reference, but... For those of you that do, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you for the chuckle. All right, let's see. You know what? You know what would be kind of cool? I, I don't know if it's cool, but I don't even know if it's dumb. Like, to me, it sounds cool. I'm just going to add in this little... Uh, I guess kind of like a braid. Or like, um, not a braid. What's the word? Hair tie? Hair tie. It's unkempt. Right, it's not well put together. It just takes a life of its own. 
It's one of those, you woke up, you're like, your mom tells you, hey, honey, you can dress yourself. And this is how you went to school. It's like, oh, you look beautiful, honey. But do you? Do you? On class picture day, right? Looking like this. <laughs> but that's all right. That's cool. All right, let's see. And then I put the rest of this hair. Well, I guess I got to wait for the rest of the body, but, you know. Let's draw some of this over here. Give me a nice little feel for him. He looks kind of barbaric. Maybe. Maybe. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's do these next parts as quick as we can. Because I don't want to hold you guys off too long. I know some of you guys are, you know, knocking out them art pieces like crazy. And I know this is not a human skull. It's a barbarian skull. Everyone knows that. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see, let's got some big teeth, some small teeth. That looks simplified. And again, this is probably a gem, so let's make this gem look pretty good. There we go. This is looking moity fine, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. This weird skull. It's not even like a sugar skull, right? It's not even that cool. But this, this is a skull of some sort of poor sap barbarian. And this is what we're going to deal with right here right now and that's okay all right let's see here all right cool sorry i had to check my phone <laughs> this, this is real time people I, 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 that's not going to be edited out i don't have time to edit this you know i'm just gonna just let it be let it be all the weird quirkiness this is me in a nutshell right any of my students that have ever had me know, like, oh, yeah, that's just Mr. S being Mr. S. Um, but, yeah, I think I'm going to shrink that. Boom. That's even better looking. Look at that. Murder. That is the weird skull of the weird barbarian. That's what he's wearing. That's the stuff he wears, guys. Ah. Uh, and I noticed I didn't bring my man beard all the way down like I did in the sketch. This is a heavy beard. And uh, that's not uh, at all heavy, guys. That's not what we had planned out. But you know what? That's okay. That is okay. This is just a prompt. This is just a sketch. I don't even know what to call this guy. I told you earlier, Dave the Barbarian. I can't call him Dave now. It's like a scarf with a skull on it. I don't know. He, he's wearing something. I don't know what it is. I, I'm not going to even try to figure it out, guys. I'm not. Really not. That's for you to decide. Especially if you guys liked this video and you guys subscribed, right? Especially if you lasted this long. If you lasted this long, guys, I, I know this content can't be that amazing, right? I must be doing something right to keep you here, so go ahead. Subscribe. Leave that like. Leave me a comment. Give me a suggestion for another video. <laughs> Should I have done the, honey, where's my super suit? Um, but I feel like if I did that, <laughs> it would have totally been 100% Frozone. It wouldn't have been anything else. It would have been Frozone. Let's be honest, huh? Let's be 100% honest with this. It would have been Frozone. Nothing I would have done could have prevented the Frozone uh, from coming out of that drawing. But that's okay. Yeah, let's, let's leave it like this. Let's leave it like that.
Yeah, and anyone trying to become an artist, like any of my younger kids especially, right? Look, get good, you draw all the time. Even if it's something silly, if it's something dumb, at least you're drawing and you're getting some reps in, right? And that, that's kind of what I've started um, to realize after a while. Like, I just needed to get reps. And, and I'm not saying I'm perfect. I am nowhere near perfect. But, but, this big but, um, I'm having fun. I'm having fun with this. Um, and I hope you guys are too. If you guys are, let me know, honestly. I just, I think that helps me out. Like, can I be more myself? Do I have to try to attempt to make a, a beautifully recorded, edited video? Like, I don't know. You let me know. Because all my videos come out pretty weird to me. You know, you ever hear your, your voice back on a recording and it just doesn't sound right? Like, I listen to that. I'm like, oh, man, why did I say it that? I don't understand, right? Um, so those are the things that kind of where, where I'm looking back at. Because I will watch my stuff back. I don't know why. I probably shouldn't. <laughs> I probably shouldn't. Because I'm just like, ah, oh, do I even upload this? If I, if, I, if I really did have that mentality, I don't think there'd be a single video on this uh, channel. Um, and for those of you guys that know, like, you know, my students were the ones that encouraged me to just create this YouTube channel during uh, that COVID era, right? I still refer to it as an era. I know it's not gone, but you know what? We got things returning back to normal. So I'm going to call it an era that kind of finished. So there you go. That's my take. Might be unpopular. If it's unpopular, go ahead and subscribe. <laughs> Let me know it's an unpopular opinion. And then let's still draw about it and still talk about it and have a good conversation. Good, healthy convo. Uh, let's give him some hair. Oh, you know what? Let's just make that old school, looks like mustard type of hair. Or do we want that? Uh, oh, we got all these lines. But now it looks like watermelon. Like, I don't even know. Forget the hair. I don't even think I'm going to put the fur on that one. I think the fur can just stay on this one. I'm thinking something like that. That might show fur. <laughs> show fur. Yeah, as if I'm driving you around, right? Anyways. Of course I could texture it, but I'm not... That's not what the goal is. I'm actually trying to rush this thing. I don't want to keep you too long. And I know you guys are going to stay here because you love this. You, you enjoy me. You enjoy the commentary. Right? And that's cool. I like you guys that like the commentary. You guys that aren't a fan of the commentary but enjoy the art. I like you guys too. Those guys of you that are out there that don't like the commentary, don't like the art, what are you still doing here? <laughs> there, there, ain't much, there ain't nothing much. I ain't pretending like I can't draw. This is really what I'm drawing in this time frame because I wanted an idea for a video and I didn't really have one. So if you want, leave it down in the comments. You guys probably heard me say that a thousand times. I'm not keeping track. I won't even keep track after the edit. I'm just going to let it be at whatever count that is. So let's see. That's that's a thigh. Ooh, look at that thigh. It's a manly kneecap. Look at that. Didn't think I had it in me, huh? Ah, don't lie to me, non-believer 43, right? I know for a fact that this looks pretty darn good. Now, the only thing that we're missing is going to be that axe. But give me one second. Let's see, wife is texting me. Sorry again, guys, I'm not going to cut that out. So, there we go. So, that was the wife. We can say hi to her in the comments if you really want to. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's do this axe, and then we are finito. We're finished. Get an ending point. An ending point that makes sense. Oh, was that my eraser the entire time? Oh, don't you hate it when you do that? You think you had the pencil, but you chose the eraser. The eraser is the mightiest tool. If you ask Bully Ray, he's a wrestler. That eraser is more powerful than the pencil. There we go. We's getting places. There we go. 
Ah, and then, of course, the axe. The axe, 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 axe. Let me just put that one. You know what? This would be pretty easy. Just do this. Do that. Oh, that almost was pretty nice. Almost. But that's okay. Not perfect. Nobody's perfect. But can I improve from this? Yeah. Does this give me the freedom to, like, you know, essentially, like, enjoy myself? Yes. Let's see. Let's cross that. Ah, that's not what I wanted to cross. I wanted to cross. I wanted to erase this. Let's see. I meant to delete this stuff. There we go. I don't even know why I did that, but there you go. So yeah, so this is one cool way with digital art, in case you, you don't do digital, um, is to erase all of these things. All the things. Uh, so that you can kind of get that illusion that you kind of drew this perfectly the first time around. Magic tricks, guys. Magic tricks. Uh, but I will erase that from the inside, and I will erase... This stuff, where the pole is crossing, uh, where the staff, I guess it's a staff. I don't know. I don't know what you'd call that in a, in a piece like this. But that's okay. And then I'm going to merge those two together, so I don't have to bother with that. Boom. Let's me know about that blunt blade. There it is. We needed some rings somewhere on here. I promised you rings. I said, what was this? This one was a skull ring. Boom. You asked for a skull ring, you got a skull ring. We asked for one with the circle. There you go, he's a green lantern. We asked for another one that has maybe a triangle, delta force, whatever. Boom, you got one. And again, if that's a skull, let's just give it to your dots. Oh, there you go. I don't know if that would be a skull, but... Close enough. It looks like a ghost. <laughs> Sorry for getting you guys sick over here. And then uh, I think this should be our last ring. You know what? Let's just do a... Um, here, let's do it this way. Let me give myself the privilege of kind of making the letter S on that, on that ring right there. But oh, kind of like a snake, but I love it. All right. Let's get rid of that underdrawing. Let's finish up this part of the hair. That's the easiest part. Connect this little dude. Check this once over. Doo -doo -doo. We got arms, we got legs, we've got that weird hairstyle. You can draw lines over here. Three dimensional, give it some depth. Let that swoop in. Get rid of that. We can let that hair on the beard Show through. There it is. Running out of time. There's no timer, but we are running out of time, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, creatures, monsters, and drawing with Mr. S viewers. Guys, that is it, I think. Um, other than, boom, it's all about that money. There we go. He's kind of like Scrooge McDuck. That's cool. Big Money Bags Barbarian. Oh, that's his name. Big Money Bags. Oh, somebody coined that. That is money. That is money. And then we'll just do one of these and pretend there's like piles of gold or something that he's like standing in front of. And then, you know what? Because I know they were talking about a great sword. Let, let's just... Boom. Boom. There's that great sword. Guys didn't think I was going to put that in, but I totally did. There we go. All right, so let's double check. He's dressed roughly. Oh, that's totally rough. And showing a great deal of tanned and muscled skin. He's got a lot of skin. He's only got a couple things covering him. A heavy beard, heavy enough. Unkempt haircut, got that. He's armed, of course, with something that's built for brawn like this ginormous axe. Look at that. It's pretty impressive. And maybe, just maybe, we do some jewelry rings, fancy pendant, and loot. 
All right, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, there's Big Money Bags Barbarian. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope to see you soon in the next video, guys. Thanks again for supporting me on my art journey. You guys have a good one. Have a good one. <laughs> Bye.